You have the power, you can do it. No, I cannot. You see, Mr. Scorpio, it's a matter of family pride. And that takes precedence over everything. Family pride? Yes. My brothers and I have made a solemn commitment. locked us all in our room. Tiffany, that man Scorpio has penetrated the island. Surely you must understand it's a very serious matter. It must be explored and disposed of. Disposed of? Victor, how easily you say that word. What you really, what you really mean is that he has to be killed, isn't it? I assume Mikkels will make that order, yes. Just like that. Just killing, all this killing, Victor. All this cruelty, I mean, subjecting a whole city like Port Charles to God only knows what's going on down there. And you don't even seem like, you don't even seem like you care. I'm bothered, Tiffany, because Scorpio was found in the control room. That's all that's important right now. Oh, I don't agree. What did you say? That your life is important. Don't you understand that? Surely deep down inside of you, you believe You're that overreacting, nothing... Tiffany, and I suggest you stop it right now. You're perfectly safe in this cabin. Well, I don't want to be in this cabin anymore. Why do I have to stay here to begin with? Tiffany, you heard the orders. Don't question them. We don't have to bite my head off. I'm extremely disturbed. There's only one reason for Scorpio's presence on this island. Scorpio, or whatever the man's name is, it doesn't seem like a threat at all. Don't you understand that if he could get here, there could be others? There's only one reason as to why he got here, I know. Of course. What? He smuggled himself aboard the yacht in Port Charles. That has to be the answer. I don't know. I, I would have no idea about it. Have you ever seen Scorpio before? No, I've never. Of course not. I've never seen him. Tony and Alex, they know Scorpio. I did. When Mick was out of the dinner alarm, why didn't they come out of the room like the rest of us? Photo, where were they? Why don't you go ask them? I don't know. That's exactly what I'm going to do right now. Oh, Victor, please. What? Please don't leave me locked in here, please. I'm getting claustrophobia. Please don't leave me. Tiffany, you asked me to disobey orders. No, not at all. I mean, I can lock it from the inside. You still have a key. Please, well, Victor, please don't make me stand here with myself. I'm not going anyplace. I'll stay here all night, please. All right, just lock the door. Just don't let anybody in. How would you be that foolish, Victor? You can go now. I don't think Mr. Scorpio is going to be any problem. No, go, go. Ah, alone at last. I thought that man would never leave. <laughs> you know, I suspect that you think that's part of your charm, the light touch in the face of danger. Hmm? Oh, you do have a certain bravado even when you've lost. I admire that. It's called sharpshooting in the dark. You also have a great many other qualities that I admire. Hey, don't stop now. You're on a roll. No, I don't intend to. You have extreme courage, you're most resourceful, and you keep your head under fire. These are all attributes I seek in my men. Unfortunately, one of your men tried in his uniform. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, he'll be dealt with, but since we're coming down to cases... Ah, cases, right, now to business. Well, look, let's start with the brandy first, shall we? Don't toy with me, Scorpio. I enjoy game playing, but I can stop playing in an instant. I'm sure of it. Mm. Would it surprise you to hear that I wish you were on my side? I'm touched. You're touched, but not interested. You'd be surprised how one's enthusiasm is tempered when your hands and feet are tied together. Well, then perhaps I can rekindle your enthusiasm. There are some things that I must know. You answer my questions and I'll reciprocate. Shall we try? Hit it. I must know if our island security has been penetrated, has it? I'm living proof of that. An interesting turn of phrase. Living proof. Always the optimist. Hmm. Who else came to the island with you? Name, rank and serial number. I shall ask you just once more, who else came to the island? Would you believe a company of Eagle Scouts led by the campus disco bouncer? I warn you, I want the truth and I'm going to get it. You lectured me a short time ago about having a commitment. 
Obviously, you take that very seriously. A commitment is sacred. Does it not also occur to you that I also have a commitment? And I take that just as seriously. Oh, a code of honor of sorts, is that it? No. Just a determination. Also sacred. Just to keep you guessing. Even knowing that you'll die for that? Part of the commitment. Nicholas. Nicholas. Get out, Victor. I don't wish to be disturbed. Sonny and Alex, there aren't any rooms. There aren't anywhere. Obviously, you didn't hear me. I said I do not wish to be disturbed. Well, where could they have gone? Nikos, where? What could have happened to them? Mind if I hazard a guess? shut up. No, 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 no. Let Mr. Scorpio speak. His opinions are fascinating. Thank you. Very well, you heard. Where have Alex and Tony gone? Isn't it obvious? They've flown back to Port Charles. They what? So that Alex can die of frostbite with the rest of her family. Excellent, excellent. Port Charles is beginning to feel the full brunt of the storm now. Only a matter of time, wouldn't you say, Mr. Scorpio? I'd say you better be out of your bloody tree if you think you can get away with this. Oh, but I am getting away with it, as you can plainly see. Tony should see this, Mikos. Do you have any idea where they are? Ah, uh, Victor, look at the increasing fury of the storm. Yes, the carbonic snow we've dropped by rocket is remarkably effective. But, Mikos, isn't it a little unusual that Tony didn't show up and Scorpio's presence sounded up the general alarm? Oh, I find nothing unusual about that. But I went to their room. They're not there. Where could they possibly be? We'll discuss this later. Good morning, gentlemen. And Mr. Scorpio. Well, Albert, I always appreciated your sunny disposition. Breakfast is ready, sir. I've informed the others. Ah, oh, splendid. Being at the threshold of success must give everyone quite an appetite. Oh, I can appreciate that. I'm a spot empty myself. Release our guests. Amigos, please. Wait. No, 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 I have no concern, Victor. Where could he go? What could he do? Mr. Scorpio is a guest of our new world of the future. He's no longer a prisoner. He's much too bright to resist the inevitable. I'm deeply flattered. <laughs> Come, Mr. Scorpio, share our humble table. Hmm? That's uh, a wonderful dream. Uh-huh. It was a wonderful dream. Don't you remember how we used to struggle with the door, and every time we finally got it open, and we'd always land in each other's arms? It was a wonderful dream. I'd like to get into that dream, but not right now. We've got things to do. What? Why? What happened? Have, have the patrols come out again? Yeah, they've been out all night. As a matter of fact, they've been crawling around here like a bunch of ants. They must have doubled security. That must mean that Robert's been caught. Yeah, that's all it could mean. Well, what are we going to do? Go up to the entrance of the cave. On the way over, we'll pick up our laundry, take in the bank, maybe a movie, have some breakfast. Have the car wash. We'll get down below, and that's right. Save the world. <laughs> 